you know, one thing you do notice is that, you know, this is a short bench as well. Uh, it's eight players on this Rutgers team as you see them scoring right away. Great execution. Oh, and again, Smichael forces the takeaway. Lafayette's got it this time. Gets it out for Schroeder, who's a knockdown three-point shooter. On the hardwood. They met back in the mid-70s a couple times. Rutgers won all three meetings, but now meeting again here in 2022. Oh, great look at passing. And in the end, Awa Sidibe puts it in. Stopped by Carter. And that was affected. Nicely done by Kai Carter recovering. Yeah, the length of her. I mean, she's six foot. I mean, she's a tall guard. Streeter, the trailer three. I mean, look at this. I mean, two dribbles, able to find Streeter. Hoff's just sleeping on the defense. That's one person you don't want to leave wide open. She's a great shooter from outside. Hofstra outscoring Rutgers 6-2 in the fourth quarter, but Streeter stops that skid. Another three by Hofstra to send the ball back. Yeah, just a miscommunication there. You saw two defenders from Hofstra. Uh, the Pride with all their second chances and third chances could be leading by double digits. As Carter spins inside and gets the roll. Brown Knights coming, over, coming off a win over Hofstra, where they felt pretty happy and would love to get that young woman going, Abby Streeter. And uh, showed us her range, but she's just really off balance bucket there, just off the glass. She's just looking so poised. Two player game here to get Brown open, weaving her way for the end one. Their guards are and their forwards are continuing to find them down low, but they've been just going inside every single time and it seems to be working. The dribble bobbled by Litwinko. Feet ahead to Sidibe. That now just puts her up to six on three of seven shooting. Yeah, she's got to continue to be aggressive there. It's a nice shot for Abby, finding her wide open over there. NJIT emptying the bench despite the fact that the comeback is working. Could really use this from Streeter, and she cans it. Smichael set up, but missed the three. And Brown tracks down the long board. Streeter gets a try. It's good. It's a three. And Rutgers back in command by 20. Andrea Zuniga. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you look at this three here from Streeter. Getting to play some high-level early WNBA basketball together. Yeah, Stafford Odom definitely highlight. I mean, Streeter knocking down a three-pointer right there. They did a lot of that in the WNBA. Yeah. Another team shooting the ball especially well. Rutgers 44%, but Smichael cans her first three right there, and it is the third three. It's acclimated here. Well, that's a team that... Wants to play quick, but has played great defense tonight. As Cassandra Brown gets another block, and Sidibe feeds Streeter. That's up-tempo offense right there. Two more fast break points. Good crossover by Robertson, but missed the scoop. Now she's going to kick herself for that. The other way, Sidibe all alone as Rutgers runs the break from distance. Rutgers wants to work it inside. Cornwell got open as Anna Hovis tried to take the charge. Talked about in the open, she led the team in scoring in those three games down in the Bahamas a couple of days ago. That foul, by the way, changed to Parker Hall, who was there on the play, as Streeter swishes the three. It's Abby Streeter on the opposite side of the court, draining a three, Rutgers up by eight. Three and a half minutes, more than that. Sidibe spins herself open and lays in two more. And it's been Sidibe and Smichael so far, combining for 19 of Rutgers' points. Streeter's hit one three today, and she hits another. Abby Streeter in open, but they're wishing they could have had some. Now Rutgers has gotten points. Hovis trying to find the rolling Ingram, but missed her. Streeter up ahead for Smichael. Oh, Rutgers running the break to perfection. What a dime from Streeter. Here's another look at that play in transition. And right back into the full court press. Much better there from Rutgers. Streeter gets a chance this time and drills three. Afternoon long, Smichael able to lay it in and then Smichael with the assist. Streeter will try again, and more success that time. Well, again, a moment ago, Streeter able to get off Sidibe. Sidibe 
Sidibe gives it right back to her, sets her feet. You mentioned J.C. Sheldon is third. Mike Sell, who just outletted the ball there, is second on the team in scoring. Kind of nice for them to have J.C. Sheldon third. They are listening and learning and evolving, trying to get it done on both ends of the court. Three goes down, a much needed one. michael has got six for Rutgers. Victoria Mason nearly had a steal. Streeter got a three. Rutgers raining him from deep. You're fronting down there, but it's just got to be a better pass, a bounce pass to Cassandra Brown down low. High post, there's Grace Stone, and she throws it away. Princeton just trying to find some rhythm here. Connolly. That would have been a shot clock violation. Instead, it's a turnover. Ten seconds on the shot clock for Sidibe and the Scarlet Knights. Carter has to put it up and she drains it at the buzzer. That's the versatility that Anna Cameron has shown her entire career. This year, her fourth year of play, she's playing more of her traditional trail four spot where we've seen her have to be the five, have to battle with the six four six five kid. Streeter on the wing, goes right inside to Sidibe. Sidibe in the post, right hand up, and one for Sidibe. They've done a good job of getting reversals and getting to that second and third side, but when that happens, you can attack from reversals. Abby Streeter. Abby Streeter. I don't know what street she was on, but it was a long way away because she nailed that triple all net for Rutgers. Oh, look at the distance between those toes and that line. Forcing Rutgers away from the basket, under 10 to go for Sidibe. Streeter along the baseline, a difficult look, and it swishes through. Keeps her eyes up. Sellers is denied by Streeter. She waited for Streeter to catch up, couldn't beat her one-on-one. -on -one. It's Michael for Rutgers is late on the weak side. Streeter rolls in the three. That is the first triple tonight for Rutgers. High level. Now this was an 11 point game at the half that the Wolverines have doubled here in the second half. Back to Streeter, trying to get it in to Cornwell, who gets it in. Good defense there from Parks, but to and it's working so far, 19-7 Michigan State. As Streeter attempts a three and makes it from the corner, a fast retaliation there from Rutgers. Uh, and one of the things that Susie Merchant actually mentioned about her was that she is such a confident shooter, so it's great to see her get out there on the court. Four points for Carter. Kapanis, look inside for Brigham who got bumped and lost possession. The wing, just gonna have to try a different look. Lafayette, good turn to the rim as it swirls in. Erica Lafayette, four points on a couple of layups. It's the composure to score the bucket. Marisa got hit, no whistle. Smichael, oh, Streeter gets it on the pinball. Right place, right time. Streeter, back of the rim, but Brown again cleans it up. Smichael this time, wide right, and again, Streeter's there. Kayleen Smichael, not her loudest night, but she's provided. Streeter, got a three. That's Rutgers' first made three of the night. For Penn State, they've been living in there, but you see here the last possession kicking it out. One more pass from Kai Carter. We've talked about it. A few so slow starts here, and Brianna mentioned Mackenzie Holmes. She just consistently is so good. She has three 25-plus point. 25-point-plus games, excuse me, so far this season. Yeah, it was nice. Rutgers got a visit during their week off this week from representatives from the KYAL Fund. To talk about cancer survival. Abby Streeter took part in that meeting. Have a look at this. It's not been Streeter's best year from three, but still above 30%, still a good bucket. Yeah, I mean, nice ball mo movement here on the skip pass. Just like that, Wisconsin back in front by three. Streeter, tie game! Just that fast today. I mean, look here, Streeter. She knocked down one. She's just feeling it. This, this defense here didn't even 
phase her. I mean, she didn't even notice that Barbara was right there, just kind of had her hands up a little bit. You got to get. She missed eight games for that team, but they didn't miss a beat with her being out. But now she's back in rhythm, so they're just such a dangerous team. But how about waking up every day?